Mary Bianchi, Horticulture Advisor and County Director, San Luis Obispo and Santa Barbara Counties. It could be a serious issue if the polyphagous shot hole bore establishes in San Luis Obispo County and Santa Barbara Counties, in part because it has so many other host plants that can support a population that is available then to come in and populate an avocado grove. So the top looks like this. My name is Julie Walters. I'm an agricultural technician with the county of San Luis Obispo. The trap is basically a funnel type trap. There's several funnels all in a row and it's covered by a protective cover which uh, helps to keep out debris. And so the beetle falls in through the funnel and falls into the cup at the bottom. And in the bottom, there's a cup which either contains a low toxicity antifreeze, or we also, um, in sensitive environments where there's domesticated pets that are in the area, we will use soapy water. Um, so it depends on the situation, which one we use. We prefer to use the antifreeze because we can then service the traps on a uh, bi-weekly basis rather than a weekly basis, which we have to do when we use the soapy water. And the reason we use those types of things is they help preserve the insect to keep it from degrading so that when they are trying to determine if it is the shot hole borer, um, they can then determine it by a, a genetic testing. We only have a few currently out um, that are serviced by our department. CAL FIRE also has traps out that they are servicing. Um, we're currently looking for more sites to put these traps. Some places that would be of interest to us would be where firewood is being received throughout the county, uh, green waste is being received throughout the county, um, those are the main ways that the insect is spread.